to do, guys, is we just want to be real, normal, just how we are, which real. might be scary. Yeah, real with a little bit of nice background, etc. right? You know, we were just lining up exactly how we don't each look fat. But this is real. So, like, Tash is like, meh, let's just do it in a cardboard box with, like, us holding the camera. And Alicia's actual personality is, but where's the pretty? And where's the polish? So, right. And she does thank me later because in the cardboard box, she goes, oh, my God, it's horrible. Yeah, it looks so bad. It's got to be someone's fault, not mine. <laughs> so, anyway, we really want to just tell you, talk to you guys real. And we really want to keep this going. So, we've got both have some big personal things that we're doing over the next few years, which we normally, you know, gets made to look, when I say personal, personal horsey goals. And these things sometimes get made to look very exciting, very enjoyable the whole way along. You don't the get the Instagram this, filter. The Instagram filter. Yeah. So we want to take this as a first step, but we're going to really show you behind, behind the scenes. And also both of us, we're only who we are from a platform perspective because of you. And I think that also gets forgotten as well. The more famous people get, the more they think, eh, well, you know, that's just, uh, you, can, you can sign my autograph, but that's about it. Um, and we're not like that. You know, we, we, you, we are who we are from a platform perspective and from the Dressage Institute perspective and all that sort of stuff because of you guys and a little bit Tash because she knows actually how to use a computer. Um, but you need to be involved in that. So if we do big things, we want you to be behind the scenes and you to be doing it. You know, at the moment where, um, you know, we're looking at doing a, a, a seminar for some Australians and we're like, where should we do it? Let's do it on the 20th floor in some beautiful hotel. Why not? Like, you know, why not? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, um, as I was going to say, with, with it sharing all of us, so you guys know there'll be tears. You'll also see Alicia really raw emotional and she's not. You, you, you don't sometimes cry, do you? Like you handle your emotions differently. And we were having this big chat over Thai, remember last week? Remember what? <laughs> but there was, there was wine. Um, oh, sorry, I was thai. thinking of a person called Thai. No, I'm like, no, I don't no, know no, a person no. called Thai, Thai food. Um, but we were talking about how important context is. So if I just put up a video of me crying, and I tend to do that a lot, you might just go, well, what is this? Who is this crying person? So we want to show you more of this is what happened to us, but why why were we doing that moment and why were we experiencing in that moment? And then more importantly, what we did after that moment. Yes, and like an example was, um, you know, Tash had a, um, a fairly negative experience with one of the horses at a CDI a few years ago. And there was this big video. Which one? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> and she had this big video of her absolute in tears. And it looked like in the moment she'd given up, she was, you know, unplanned, et cetera, et cetera. But that was just this much of a massive thing. And actually that was a huge, and we won't go back into it because it's so far now, but, but the point is, is that people didn't get to see the whole picture. That was like an eighth of that experience. Absolutely. And then because I didn't post everything that happened after that, you guys missed so much of the story. So you missed the, the journey. So we want to make sure together we go, okay, well, we want to craft yeah. what happened next, what happened next, what happened next, so yeah. people can follow along, but also extrapolate that into your own life and figure yeah. out, well, hang on, if I have that experience, it doesn't end with me crying in the toilets. Yeah. It ends never ends yeah. it then goes to this moment goes into this moment and, and it's going to be this great experience because tash and i are really different people so different so different <laughs> the only thing we are having really have in common is horses our need to not look fat on camera yeah. um, very important we're both lovely and nice and um i'm trying to think of a third one but they're, they're the fourth one but there is something really great i forgot what it was um I don't like, know. It's literally left my head. There was We're so different. Like, I just came to see her and I was like, oh, you went to the boulangerie and she got bread. Oh, I'm yeah. like, that is not what a boulangerie is. That's where you buy chocolate eclairs and strawberry tarts. Yeah, I got bread. Um, but what was that? There's something really important that I was thinking about that we have in common. Um, oh, the yeah. need to want to help people? I was going to say, I need to be a hermit. Oh, true, true. Yeah, we don't want to be. In between us talking to you and being open, I think we're so open that when we get time, we just want to be like, oh. Be well, alone. I think we're both introverts and that's how we recharge, being alone, alone. A hundred percent. And, you know, real life, like right now, guys, we've got poor um, 
Phil, Tasha's husband, across in the pool with Margot, my daughter, so that we can get this out to you. And again, we want to show you these real life things. So, so this is a little bit what's coming. Yes. Um, we kind of have goals to turn it into a talk show. So, you know, Xflix, please. Horses are way more exciting than dancing with dancing people, right? <laughs> Doing horse riding with the stars, way more exciting. Um, but we just want to be real and honest with you and hopefully we'll get to meet people as well. And we don't want to interview famous riders if we do. We want to interview you guys, um, you know, and explain how our relationship is to very, very different people. Yes. Help. Yes. Yeah. Because we are so not aligned on so many different things, but the things that are super important, we are. And there's no one in this world that I know who to call. Like this woman next to me is just this, this beacon that I know I can call on in my life and hopefully I'm that for her. Um, so when you're talking about achieving your horse riding goals, when you're talking about achieving any goals or anything that you want to do in your life, like who are your people in your corner? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And just getting out of the norm. We're going to teach you so much how to not react to what's around you. You know, um, our sport isn't a very overall happy sport. It's, it's a not a, sport. Yeah, it's not a very healthy sport. But And you have two choices. You can either say that or you can just be different. Um, you know, and we'll talk about that. And, and that's something that I've learned. My, my life wasn't such a... Um, I, I haven't had a lot of help. So I learned very, very quickly that you've got to get the people around you on board and you've got to just create what you want to create um, with the people. I needed people. Um, Tasha's a little bit more independent and, and didn't need people as much, but we're still slow, we're learning that it does make a difference. And, you know, um, why don't we talk about a little bit the RBF face, which is something that was really interesting. It is very interesting. Yeah. So, so tell us just, um, so you were riding, so she was riding a horse along at this new place that we're at and the, the person who owns it said, are you, are you happy? Very concerned like. And Tash comes up to me, what did you say to me? Like, why was she concerned? Yes. So Alicia very kindly, lovingly said, it's your face. Your face is this resting face. It's just, you look like you hate everyone and everything. Oh. And, and Tasha's instinct was, so who gives a f <laughs> and, and I did just say, well, can't I just wear a t-shirt? Because that's obviously not how I feel. I really love everybody, but I'm just in my own world. So I said, well, why would someone have an opinion about that? I'll just wear a t-shirt that says, I do really like you and I am really happy. I love that. <laughs> but again, I, was, I have a really resting <laughs> face too, look. <laughs> It's Maybe it's like resting yeah. a bit easier. So oh, it's like I want to kill you. <laughs> and someone once said to me, because I said the same thing, when someone said to me, you've got a resting face, I'm like, who gives a what, what does it matter what yeah. people think? They said, let me rephrase it the other way. You're standing in a lift and someone sees you. Do you want them to get out of the lift and go, oh, that person was really nice and made me feel really good? Or, my God, that person was looking at me really strangely. And what, am I fat? Am I, you know, is it because I sound funny? Did I do a fart? I don't know what happened. And then they leave all insecure. And you're like, oh, of course I want them to be happy and feel nice and feel, you know, and, and, and feel good about it. And, they, and I'm like, and then as I'm talking, saying that, I went, ah. It, it, it's not about like fighting the man and saying, well, you know, that's me, deal with it. It's like, what do I really want to achieve in life? Do I want people to feel good when they have, when they have um, connections with me? Well, yeah. So we kind of have to do it. And these are little things that we help each other with, isn't it? Yeah, and I, saw, I, I took it to then go, because I am, I'm so much, I should be able to do what I want. And there's a consequence to that. So yeah, sure, I can go live my life going, well, I can keep, why should I have to change my face for anyone or for anything? So I can keep that belief and keep living my life going, I shouldn't have to change. But there's a consequence to that. My life will get experiences in it because of that choice. I can also choose to put a smile on my face and show my warmth and show my kindness and show my um, love for people 
every single time, because sometimes, as I said, I'm introverted and I'm just trying to do my own thing. But if I'm consciously going, no, 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 don't just be all about you, think, think, think and help, 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 um, there's consequences to that too. And yeah, and, and ex exactly. And, it's and as you said, it is a nicer consequence. It is, you get to finish the day going, I touched people, I, yeah. I, rather than I didn't even know I met people because I was in my own little world yeah. doing my own thing. Yeah, a hundred percent. And like, you know, we do, um, you know, we're, we're a media, aren't we? So we do, um, you know, uh, focus groups and we get people's opinions and things like that. And it's really interesting. So things they say about me, they're true. They say things like, I'm loud. I'm a bit obnoxious. That my face is changing over the year. It is. It does. <laughs> All does. Yeah, that I'm arrogant, that I'm a bit pie in the sky. Um, they say things like that. And all of those things about me are true. Interestingly, the things that the photos, fo focus groups say about Tash aren't. She's distant, vapid, not warm. They're all things that aren't true. It's really interesting. And this is what, we're gonna, what we need to try to change. I wear my heart on my sleeve and are sometimes a little bit too much of my heart on my sleeve and too much of myself and too much, you see. Whereas Tash, you don't see her. And I want you guys to start to see her. Isn't that really interesting though? And that's, yeah. the, that's thinking about, isn't it? And it is, it is super hard because you mentioned before, you know, this is for everyone listening. There is never anyone behind that camera. I no. Do, but, for you, but for me, like in my thinking, if someone says, you know, there's however many million people that have seen however many million videos, I don't, I don't, it doesn't, me, it, it doesn't make sense to me. So to me, there's only ever one person behind the camera that needs to hear that message or that lesson or that, 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 that thing right now. Only ever one. So this, this, again, this feeling of, oh, well, if you didn't get the right impression of me, well, I'm sorry, but that's just one. And so this, this expectation or this, um, what's called responsibility of showing all of me in the right way, in a way that makes sense to you guys is something that I need to kind of take on. And, and it's not being different either, it, or being fake or anything like that. It's just that when there's a camera there, there's, you know, I know that when I did telemarketing, you know, telemarketing years and years ago, and what, how you say something here mm. has to be times by 10 on the phone. Think about tone in text message. Of course. It's yeah. all the same. And the point is, is just to be able to really reach people. Look at the coaching. Look at my style of coaching, the way it's changed. Yes. You can't hear me if I talk to you in a way that doesn't connect with you. And then even going back to that thing, so Alicia could have said, I coach how I coach how I coach, how I show up is how I show up, and I don't want to change. And she's perfectly entitled to think that or say that or be like that. And there's a consequence to that. So the transformation in this woman, when was the last time we did have a lesson? In life, yes. well before COVID. Yes. She's completely, I don't know, someone did a brain transplant. She's completely different. And it's because she wants to be the best she can be. Yeah, um, well, the, the best educator you can be. Well, the Dressage Institute's given me this platform where I can really help people. And that's what I want to do, I want to really help people. But I'm a big personality and I do not fail. It doesn't matter what I do, I find a way. I will bleed before I will fail. So then I expect the same from other people. So the way my brain works is very matter of fact, very unemotional. So if I coach people like I am, there's very, very few people that can really get coached by me because there's very few people that really think like me. So for me to really help people, I had to go, well, this isn't about me. This is about the people I'm coaching. Yes. So, I, so if they are emotional, well, that's not a bad thing. That's just who they are. Yes. And it's my job to change me so that I can let them hear me. Yes. And Tash and I, when we used to, train together I would help her a lot and horribly and this is horribly I still helped her more than anybody else ever that's a whole other episode of how much money I've spent on how many people we'll work on around that. the world we'll work on that <laughs> behaving ultimately badly right I just did what what other people did to me mm. and this time, well, since I've been doing DI, I've done lots and lots of education courses. I've done lots of personality profiling. I can pick a person and go, that's your personality. I can pick a person and go, that's your learning method. And now our lessons have gone from very inflammatory and this to 
Well, I like to think more that. Well, yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> but like, yes, so even emotionally, there is, there's barely any emotion. So now, whereas before I felt they were charged with it, well, charged with mine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, it's really good. Really, really good. And it's good. really interesting. And again, this is what we talk about getting to know each other. I'm pretty sure if you put both of us side by side, people would say that they think I'm more emotional because that's how we come across. But actually, who's more emotional? I'm like as deep as a puddle, peeps. Seriously, deep as a puddle. I'm very loving, but my emotional depth is like, just this. <laughs> so is. So this is what we want to do, guys. We want to get in, we're going to talk about things that we don't want, that not that we don't want to talk about, that people don't talk about. And we just want to be real with you. And go deeper. So there's so many different platforms and there's so many like 30 second reels and the Instagram story yeah. is it a story god knows um but this is a really good place where we can just really unpack answer your questions you know just go deep on whatever topic yeah is into us yeah that point yeah, yeah cool so guys keep watching us send us questions in yeah comment below yeah tell us what you think tell us what you'd want to see yeah and anything guys like go nuts we can only say no <laughs> right and we'll even be honest with you as well we'll say no to questions we don't want to ask but we'll ask we'll say them you know yeah yeah Show it, say, show us your tits, you never know. Probably won't happen. Um, <laughs> not, both of them are not ours anyway. So. Oh, I don't want to tell everybody that. Cut. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>